Ah, uh, Prince Henry, we've came back with the test results, and I'm sorry to announce, but they came back negative. I'm sorry, but your wife has not produced a fertile offspring that has magical powers. <sighs> so, you're saying my offspring isn't fertile, and she has no magical powers? Yes, but she's still in the royal DNA blood, as always. But, there's just nothing magical about her. We've run many tests and they all have come back inconclusive or negative. So please, if you would spare us some more time to run more test results, that would be amazing. Uh, please, no more test results. I'm done. I should have known better not to get with anyone who has no fertile offspring traits on them. Or any magical powers. Ugh, this was such a big mistake. Oh, well, Prince Henry, please. If you would spare us some more time to run more, you know, test results, I'm sure something will come back. No, I don't care. I'm out of here. Uh, excuse me, miss. Hello? Uh, is everything okay? What happened? I'm sorry to wake you up unexpectedly, but you're, you're, um, what is he to you? Oh, um... Well, I mean, we were together, but uh, where is he? I thought he was going to come see the birth of my baby. Oh, he definitely did. He's a bit upset because you have not produced a fertile offspring, and she also has no magical powers in her. Oh, please, you have got to be joking me. You know, if you would run a couple more tests, that would be great. Oh, trust me, we are Miss Elizabeth, but still... Uh, and no results back. It's as if you just don't have the right traits to produce an offspring with magical traits. But that's fine. I mean, I've had a couple occasions where the magical powers come whenever they're a little bit old. You know, in their teen years, maybe 13 to 15, that's when they usually do come if the test results are negative. But of course, we're going to keep running them. No, no, no. This is bad. What's so bad about this, ma'am? Would you please have a seat back down in your chair? We need, we need to, um, you know, make sure that these cords are still in you. They help you and make sure that your blood is regulated. Uh, I have to get out of here. I have to run back after him. <sighs> Prince Henry, please come back, will you? I promise I will make it up to you. I have a lot to explain. Please, what could you possibly explain to me? You've produced a child that doesn't have any magical traits in her. This is such an embarrassment to me. A an embarrassment? Prince Henry, you have got to be kidding me. If anything, this has to be a miracle. She's probably going to get magical powers later on in her years as the doctor said. You aren't a doctor. How are you supposed to know what's going to happen with our own child? Because I know. And you know some things that I don't, obviously, because the doctor has told you wrong. I'm getting out of here. I need to head back to my castle and don't come back home. Just find a place on your own. <laughs> please. No pleases. I'll make it up and tell the marriage counselor to cancel everything. We're not getting married anymore. But, but what about our child? You want her to grow up without a father? So be it. Okay, Vera. Sweetie, we're gonna find a place. I promise. <sighs> Mom, are you sure this is a good idea, going to this school? I mean, what are they possibly going to think about me? The news knows everything about me and my past. Oh, sweetheart, it's going to be fine. You know, I'm sheriff here. If anything happens to you, I'll be glad to take care of it. It's not even that, Mom. It's my past. Everyone knows that I don't have magical powers around this town. What's the point of going to a school where they train people with powers? Because they said whenever you were younger that maybe, possibly, you could develop your powers slowly as you're in your teenage years. That has to be the case, and that is the only case I will accept. 
But mom, why won't you just accept that I don't have powers? I'm not meant to be a princess and I'm definitely not meant to have powers. Can I just go to school now? If you insist, honey, go ahead. I'm just telling you, everything's going to be fine. You're overreacting. Yeah, easy for you to say. Bye, Mom. Ah, <sighs> my poor baby. <sighs> well, here goes nothing. First day here at my brand new school. This is going to be a nightmare, but hopefully it isn't. Whoa, this place is huge. <gasps> oh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you. Oh, uh, it's okay. Uh, wow, um, are you new here? You look really pretty. Did you get dressed already? Wow, you look fantastic. Oh, uh, no, I'm actually new here and my name is Vera and, um, yeah, that's it. That's all you really need to know about me. <laughs> Vera? Are you that one girl from, yes, from the news? Yeah, I'm sure everybody knows about it in here, right? Yeah, girl, you're in for a bit of trouble. Everyone around here already knows about your secrets and your past. So there's no need to hide it. But it's cool. I mean, I'm on your side. I would hate to have my dad run away. Okay, okay, that's enough. Please, can we stop talking about it? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I just, I don't really feel like talking about it when I'm in a new environment. I want to start fresh with people. I mean, I just hate that everybody has to know my secrets and all my past stories. Yeah, I understand. But we can go ahead and get dressed together. I'm Sophia. Okay, well, let's get you ready, I guess. It's time for the ball. That's the first thing we ever do in a new school year. Um, what prestige are you? Looks like everyone here has different uniforms. Well, there's a couple fairies in here, but you don't have to worry about them. They go to a different headquarters, but we all get dressed in the same dressing room. And, well, you know, the people with tiaras, like you and me, we go to the princess side of the school. <laughs> well, that's really nice. They train you to be a royal, and also manage your powers at the same time, which is just absolutely amazing. Especially for people who don't know how to control their powers as well. Yeah, I guess that's really nice. <laughs> But you don't have to worry about that, obviously, because you don't have any powers. <laughs> yeah, noted. Anyways. But why don't you get ready? I have to uh, go catch up with my friend. Uh, go for it. <laughs> God, everyone here already knows my secrets and everything about me. What's the point of hiding anything anymore? Ew. Who's this disgusting little numbnut sitting on a royal chair? Who does she think she is? Um, uh, hello? Ew! Why in the world do you look like that? You put way too much blush on, by the way. You might want to rub it off. Too much? I thought I put just the right amount. I'm happy on the way I look. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm a Prestige 3, near Prestige 1, let me guess, right? Yeah, I'm new here, and you are? Oh, who am I? <laughs> I'm Sapphire, sweetheart. You know, and my brother is... Ellie? Uh, Ellie, right. Who is that? My brother is the Baron of Clements. I'm so surprised that you don't know that already. He's literally the Baron. <sighs> Anyways. Do you know the Duke, at least? The Duke? Uh, who's the Duke, ma'am? I'm sorry, I'm new here. I have no idea what I'm doing or the proper etiquette or anything. Ugh, sucks to be you. I'm not training you on any of that. That's why we go to this school. Um, what's your power, by the way, sweetheart? Oh, right, you don't have one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, isn't that absolutely hilarious? Imagine not having a power. Ugh. Anyways. Uh, see you around, sweetheart. Mwah! <laughs> Hello, young lady. What is your name? Um, uh, my name is Vera, and I'm from the Lock Legacy. Ugh, a lock? 
Oh, no wonder. <laughs> the Lock Legacy has a lot of terrible past. Oh, I know. Um, can I please go in though? Uh, of course. But, uh, try not to tell anyone that you're part of the Lock Legacy. It's a bit embarrassing. Oh, um, okay. Oh, um, well, what am I supposed to do? Who do I go with? I, uh, they all look really nice and handsome, but... I mean, who am I really supposed to be dancing with here? Um, uh, hello, sir. Oh, hello, I'm Ellie. You look awfully magnificent today. I'm Ellie, the Baron of Clements, and you are... Oh, um, I'm from the Walk Legacy. And I'm not anything. I don't really have a royal title yet. But hopefully one day I'll be able to achieve one. Oh, well, I thought that maybe you might have one. I guess it's fine. Uh, sorry. No, no worries. So, um, I'm not really good with dancing at all, sir. So I'm sorry if I do miss a couple steps here and there. Oh, uh, it's okay. I know a, a couple people that don't really know the dance too well. That's why we're here at this school, to learn and train. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, what's this school really all about? I've already had a couple bad impressions because people don't like me because of my past. Well, your past is pretty brute, and there's a lot of secret murders in your past and your family lineage. It's just not the most successful. Mine's is pretty successful. I'm a pretty rich baron, but I can't trust anyone because I feel like they're always using me for money and not for who I really am, a person. It's just not fair that I have to search for the right person because I'm rich. Oh, so you're worried about gold diggers, basically, but I'm sure you aren't that kind of person, right? No, of course not. I'd love to have somebody that I really truly love in my heart and desire. Well, that's great to hear. Switch! Oh, uh, bye, sir. Goodbye. Oh, hello, brother. Hello, sister. Well, hello there. What's your name? Oh, um, my name is Vera. Whoa, he's so cute. And, um, you are? Well... Uh, I'm surprised you don't really know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Luke. Luke of Clover. I'm known for my family lineage. You know, I am the Duke, and we come from a very successful and lucky lineage. And I'm the first male to have powers in my family. Which is crazy to hear, but it's true. I have a pretty lucky family. <laughs> well, that's marvelous. And what lineage do you come from, ma'am? Uh, I, uh, um, what? Are you okay? Um, I don't want to say. Why not? Is it that bad? Maybe if we get a little bit, you know, closer to each other, I can tell you. Not that I expect you to like me or anything, but, uh, are you okay? Uh, you look a little bit trembly. Hey, uh. It's okay. There's no need to be worried. I promise I won't think anything bad about you. Uh, maybe I'll tell you later. Okay, that's fine. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are Well, 
Whoa, you're an amazing singer. You were singing the ballroom song perfectly. <gasps> I was singing that uh, that loud? <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit noticeable, but you're a really good singer. I mean, that was truly amazing. You ever think about joining the music club, maybe? Oh, <laughs> heck no. I'm not joining that thing. That's for, you know, fairies and stuff. They're the most magical singers in town. What a commoner like me would ever be a singer one day. I mean, it would be a great opportunity, but I just can't really see myself even performing such an amazing act like that. Oh, please. I promise. One day, you'll realize your potential, and you'll want to join. Oh, well, thank you. I can't believe the Duke actually enjoyed my time and my singing. Oh, this is truly an honor. Let me get out of the principal's office and head straight outside. It's about to be dismissal and I can't wait to head to my first class. <sighs> Lunch time. I'm really not looking forward to this at all, but I guess I have to go to it. Oh, um, hello. Oh, nice to see you again. Uh, oh, Vera, correct? Yes, and uh, your name? Sophia, remember? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Of course, it's fine, <laughs> you know. I'm not to go with names either. <laughs> oh, um, who's performing on the stage this night? Oh, you don't know? It's the Baron and the Baron sister. They always perform on Mondays. Oh, really? The start of the week they perform? Yep, they practice on the weekends in the band room, and then they're just amazing on stage. They're in the music club? Yeah, they have an amazing singing voice, and I'm surprised they're not fairies. But they both have magical powers of producing amazing music. So, I'm not too surprised. Oh, uh, I see. Five, six, uh, five, six, seven, eight. I will never smile for you, smile for you, smile for you, smile for you. I will never cry for you, cry for you, cry for you, cry for you. for today folks we hope you enjoyed this magical performance oh and please if you have any tips make sure to follow me on instagram i go nora oh um hey uh luke oh my uh hey <coughs> hi uh nice to see you uh, remember my name yeah vera <laughs> yeah glad you remembered <laughs> So, uh, how'd you like the performance tonight? I know you're new here, so it's, you know, a new thing for you. They always sing on Mondays. Oh yeah, my new friend told me, and they're really good together. Are they brother and sister? Yeah, they are. He's the Baron of Clements. And, as for me, obviously, I am the Duke. But I don't really have any good talent in music. Oh, really? <laughs> Why don't you sing for me one day? Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I, I don't really want to sing in front of anyone, especially you. I mean, I don't want to hurt your ears with my terrible singing voice. Oh, please. I'm sure you're astonishing on the stage and in front of me. Tomorrow, will you? Uh, maybe. Just for you. Just for me? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, see ya. See ya, Luke. Duke of Clements. Oh, <laughs> bye.